cursed with periods. I wish I was cursed with my period this weekend. How would that be the perfect excuse not to have sex with Stuart? Oh, don't be crazy. You're gonna love having sex with him. I feel like he has all these expectations of me being like a college hottie. Well, you are a college hottie. Step right up. I don't know. Young man, hello. Hi. What did you have in the way of sexual accoutrement? Uh... It's a it's anything that vibrates or pulsates or no. Fast. We don't carry sex toys or anything like that. I just I just think if you had something around here that would help her, you know, something tingly or what if you put it on you. We have hand lotion. I have hand lotion. Yeah, something that has a little tingle to it that's hot or cold, especially. Do you have a sweatsuit I could put on this weekend. Joan. Uh, yeah, we have it, all the stuff for the campus logo is fifty percent off. Do you have a crotchless sweatsuit? Oh my gosh. No. Barry, <laughs> you should get some. Go. Come it's on. It's the perfect sex opportunity this weekend. You got the room all to yourself. Wouldn't you have sex with a widow? Come on. Hmm? Wouldn't you love it? What? She's sexy. She's been around. Her husband's dead. It's kind of mysterious and sad. Wouldn't that stir something up in you? What? I'm... Oh, he's cute. I like how scared you are. You know what? I'm just gonna go. Okay? Goodbye. Joan, don't you dare! Ah. I'm so freaking out right now, you guys, about my parents coming. Your parents are going to be thrilled to see you having a good time at college. They don't want me to have a good time. They don't. They want me to study, and they, they want me to go to bed early, and... Oh, they should hang out with Joan. She doesn't like sex. What? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you open the window and announce it to the quad? Imagine not liking it, and she has this dynamite grad student, Stuart, who's so sexy. He oozes it, but doesn't care to do it. You know what? I just don't find it that enjoyable, okay? Uh, and uh, to be perfectly honest, I'd rather have a sandwich. What is the big deal? Why don't you want to eat a sandwich when you can be the sandwich? Look, I'm not saying I'm not going to have sex, but I'll have it and we'll do it and there'll be that little pinch and we'll, then afterwards we'll, we'll, we'll talk and we'll have, we'll go out. It's Back no big up. deal. What are you talking about? A pinch? Yeah. What's you a pinch? You guys know the pinch of pain. Pinch of pain? The pop, the P-O-P, -P, the pinch of pain. What's a pinch of pain? Uh-huh. It's... What you get, what you do when you have sex. You have your pinch of When you pain. have a urinary tract infection? No. Or... What about the other, the tingles and the, the, the lightning bolts and the vibrations and the pressure? What about I, that I don't stuff? know what you're talking about. I told you, you have your pinch and then it's done. Joan, you've never had an orgasm. Come on. you never had an orgasm? You guys, listen. It's not just a little pop, pinch of pain. No way, no way, lady. Just drop it. Just forget it and drop it. I'm sorry, I care. Please, don't ever burden yourself with having sex. That's silly. Who wants a pinch of pain? Okay, fine, I'll have sex. No, not for my benefit. It sounds like a miserable process, and, and I wouldn't want to have you go through that. You know Look. what? I, I don't buy it, and I'm going to have sex because I want to have sex, okay? I'm Joan who has sex. Great. Let's celebrate. Fine, let's. Oh, oh. ow, ow. I just had a little pinch of pain. I just had an orgasm. This is a pigsty! Look at it! Shh. You you made no preparations for a woman coming to stay? Well, act like a woman and clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clean your room! I'll clean your room! Why don't what you do doing? something? That what are you room! Doing? Stop! What are you doing? I don't know. There's something wrong with me. Just... Yeah, there is something wrong. <sighs> I have my period. I'm just. Oh. Much, too much oh. information. Too much information. Gee. Hey, it's the way it is, buddy. How about if once a month you guys bled out of your ass? How about that? Just, just some blood. That's oh, there it is. Um, yeah, it not... is. But it's nature's way. And what if it was nature's way for you two? That is disgusting. I'm not gonna sit here for th the next three days listening to your lady business. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. <sighs> you know, just clear the area. Have a seat. If you need to calm down. I'm not ass. getting on those sheets. I want you off the corner of the bed where I'm going to sit. You're being really rude right now. For we've opened up our I know. dorm room to you, and you're kind of being a jerk. I'm a jerk? You think I'm a jerk? Yeah. Come on, you think I'm a jerk? Oh, you think I'm a jerk? Barry, 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 stop. stop. What is wrong with you? You make room for somebody. Miss Betty, huh? calm down, okay? Oh, you don't know what it feels like. V. <gasps> For sure can't have this in the room no, for three days. If it's gonna help, mm. have 
little bit of a weed, okay? Just a smoke a little bit. We're not saying like go crazy with recreational drug use. We're just saying for for medicinal purposes, a little smoke might yeah. uh, All right, keep let's people spark it stressed. Up. I don't have it. What? You don't offer, you don't dangle a carrot in front of a lady and then snatch it away. Where are the drugs? Mr. James, he's a soul brother. He have it for sure. There he is. Yo, mom. That's all we got. James! That's wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna help y'all with that. It's cool. I'm gonna help y'all with that. Oh, damn. Um, uh, you know what? I got to uh gotta go handle some business. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, babe, okay? Okay. Hey. That's rude. Hey, that's Hi. What's going on, Mama. Good all to right. see. Hey, hey. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. All right. Um, Sorry if I pushed. Oh, no, no, it's cool. It's just that, uh, uh that's, that's my lady over there. <gasps> we got a little something going on. Right Isn't now. she beautiful? Yeah, she is. She oh, is. she's gorgeous. Thank you. Good for you. Well, you know, I try. Mm -hmm. I try. What can I do for you? I need some marijuana. <laughs> Damn. Oh, this uh, is hard. So I want to smoke out. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's cute. That's cute. Thank you know, but you know what? That That's not. You know, just say, you, you got something, baby? You, you holding? You holding? Can I see you? You holding something, baby? Can I see you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you a little too loud. Oh. My lady may think you're talking about holding something else. No, I'm just a white lady looking to score some drugs. <laughs> okay, okay. What, 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 okay, what's up? I'm a white lady who's also cramping like a freak. Ooh. And then poor Joni can't have an orgasm. Oh, snap. Can you oh. imagine living without orgasm? We're going to have to work on that. Back to back Emmy winner, James Spader and Naked Chef on Oxygen. Uh, just a second. These pot brownies are awesome. Oh my, oh my. Hey y'all, I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 who am I? I can't have an orgasm. I can't have an orgasm. Hi. Hi. Like your outfit. Yeah, yeah. it's just a sexy. How would you like me? How how do you want me? But maybe we could just start like this. Oh, so Do that. Do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's just take our time. What do you, uh... What are you in a rush for? Oh, I'm just a... Ouch. Mm. I'm, <laughs> I'm already seduced, so let's just go. Consider me ready and done. No, you're not seduced yet. <laughs> no. It's not like that. Seduction's different for me. Oh. Because first I want to bone your mind. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to bone your heart. Okay. Then I'm going to stick it in your spirit. Okay, let's do that then. Do you know you can smell love? <laughs> Excuse mm. me. I smell it. I think I'm allergic to it. God bless you. <laughs> Thank God you. Bless, God bless what we're going to do tonight. Okay, let's do it. This has been fun talking now. Let's just kind of get it over with for fun. I can taste the air. When you're high, you can literally taste the air. It's crazy. So Joan can't have an orgasm? No. So sad. Some women do have difficulty, you just have to find your way to it. But just to think about 50 years with no orgasm. Oh, I didn't think of it like that. 50 years. She's not 50. <laughs> John! 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 John Beeman! John Beeman! John Beeman! John Beeman! What's your middle name? Ellen. John! John Ellen Beeman! John Ellen Beeman! John Ellen Beeman! Are you enjoying this? Oh, yeah. uh, John! Ellen! 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 Beeman! Beeman! John Beeman! That is not 
to make any sense. Why? If she was married, then of course she has an orgasm. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I don't know who fed you that line. She was married. And that yeah. means nothing. You know what marriage does to people? It sucks the life out of them. Now Maybe that's, that's what astute. happened. That's astute for Maybe a Maybe that's what man. happened. Joan just got the life sucked out of her. This is a very big deal. I don't know if you two understand that. She's taking the dive off the high board, you know what I mean? To go for it and have sex with Stuart. And hopefully find an orgasm at the bottom of that pool. If anyone can find it, it's him. You're right about that. He's so smart. He's like a sex guru. Did you just hear that? I think Joan just came. Somewhere Joan just came. Yippee! Let's, let's go. Let's go see. I shot. Good. Mm, and now that I've sown my little seed, I want you to reap the sexual harvest. That's okay. It's not okay by me. I'm kind of hungry anyway, so... I'm hungry for you to have a bite of oh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I try to really clean up in here, but I don't know. Don't get oh, mad if you see. Oh my God! Oh, my God. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, this is awkward. No, oh, sir! No, oh, sir! No, sir! Joan, I heard the strains of love. Did you have your orgasm? Barry, give it a rest. What in the hell is going on around here? <laughs> Joan can't have an orgasm. How do you know? I might have let it slip a little. Oh, oh you poor dear. Um, let me introduce myself. I'm Karen Hollister. Honey, get away from there. Don't touch them. So They're nice covered in you. something. All right, everybody, everybody, uh, get out. Yes, everybody, right now, let's go. Move it, Slim. You too, Greek, Spaniard, whatever. Go, go, everybody. Oh out in the hallway, take care of Paige. Make sure those boys don't touch her. Ladies. I got a big problem with what's going on in here. You two are supposed to be role models for my daughter, and look what you're doing! This, it really isn't what it's... And it's exactly what it looks like! It's filth and disgusting! Hey, you okay? What's going on? Hey, follow this. Oh, God, I knew it. I don't need a nympho and a junkie dealing with her! All right, listen, ladies. This will not abide. Hey, up here! <laughs> huh? This will not abide, young lady! Now, I want to see both of you tomorrow. We're going to have a long talk about this because we're going to get some things straight around here. Do you understand? I'm going to scare you all straight. How do you like that? Yeah! Believe it! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Was that reality or one of those hallucinations? Are you guys real? Ladies, I want to uh, thank you for joining us. Basically, I need some assurances from you all, okay? I need to know that my daughter is going to be okay up here at college living with you two. Because right now, I don't get that feeling. Do you oh, know what I mean? Of course, of course, from what you witnessed. I've spent my life raising Paige to be a good person. Absolutely. A Clearly. good girl. You've done a is. fine she job. Is. Thank you very much. I didn't raise Paige to come up here to smoke grass, drink booze, right. and have all kinds of sex, I okay? Absolutely. That's not what she's about. No. They're not like that, Daddy. Well, it was highly unusual. You exactly. should know that, Glenn. I mean, it was really, that does, something like that doesn't happen all the time. No, not it? every day. Well, I would hope not. If I dabble again, it will just be small joints. You know, that's over the line, ladies. There's a line, and that's yeah, over the line. Typically, I like to straddle that line. Ladies your age shouldn't be acting like this, okay? I just wanted to try it out since my husband died. I haven't been able to really, you know, get in there and make it work oh, in any way. God. No, she doesn't Ugh. love it. She doesn't love it. Let me tell you something, ladies. I am this close to yanking her out of school. Oh, no. Don't you dare now, do that. Don't, don't you dare do that. that. Now, hear me out, ladies. Hear me out. Wild. She'd Please. be missing a significant part of college life. That's entirely why we live in the dorm. And I think ourselves. we can really be careful that none of this happens yes. in front of yes. her again. No more roach clip parties. No. no. They're all ladies. those, that group of Hindi girls that do whippets. We're not going to have them come back to the room. No. It's, it's a that, that 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 you put on top of jello out of a can and you get a crazy helium balloon high. Feels like an anvil landing on your head, but only for a second. second. Ladies, hmm. nothing in the world is more important to me and, and my wife than Paige. Of nothing. course not. 
me understand. She's a Nothing. beautiful, together young lady. We have every intention of behaving and setting a fine example for Paige. In fact, we're going to the library right now, Let's after go. our brunch, yep. to study. To study all day. Ladies and gentlemen, bam! The great American vagina. Or as we so lovingly call it in the hood, the chunky monkey. Oh. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I do. <know. laughs> make your mouth water, don't it? Just make you want to bite it. Just... I can, I can. Oh! oh I, can, I feel it when you do that. Don't do that. Oh, yes. Oh, right there. Oh. That's where you begin. The clitoris. Mm -hmm. Let me backtrack for one second. By show of hands, I need to know who masturbates. <laughs> ah, ah, Joan. Come on, I'm not, no. And, and now I notice you didn't raise your hand. No, well, come on. It's all about self-love. It's all about getting to know you. Mm -hmm. You need to play with the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, ah, G, G spot. Oh. That's what we're talking about right there, Joan. Your G spot. It's right there, baby. Hey, it's hey, right hey. there. It is. It's right there, mama. It's so touch it. It's... No, it's touch it. Look how complicated touch that it. is. No. Touch it. No. Don't. You know what? Hey. Don't touch it for. Hey, there you go. Hey, hey, listen, there's too many dead relatives watching me all judgy. And... and you know what they're doing? They're masturbating around you. I don't think they are. They're having a masturbatorial celebration well, for you. Well, I'm not the right person because I can't put a, anything up there. So you've never gotten to know yourself with the flashlight in the mirror? Oh, I've never used a diaphragm. I don't even like when the doctor goes up there. That, really? But do you like it when something else goes up there, yeah. huh? Huh? It's okay. Uh, just okay. You know what you need? A masturbating coach. Mm -hmm. I don't Someone think so. that can help you through. Like a master buddy. Like, ha! Like a... That's it. Barry, you be Joan's master buddy. Oh, for yes. God's sakes. On the next Campus Ladies. I sit or squat or lie down? I would lie down. Just get into it real easily. On my bed? Yes. I wouldn't it, use Paige's bed. No, don't use Paige's bed. You're welcome to my bed. No, Very no, soft. no, that'd be weird. I'll use my bed. All right. <clears throat> okay, I have, um, I'm on my bed. Give yourself a real friendly pat down there. Oh, it was a slap. Oh, why not? Ooh. Okay. Uh, okay. And now, I want you to picture something or someone. What, what, what would work for you? Ooh, how about like the, um, the hills of Salzburg? Oh, the hills of Salzburg. Yes, that sounds wonderful. Are you walking on those hills? Oh, never mind. What if there's like, you know, all those Nazis were there? That's not going to work. Oh, there are no Nazis now. Where else? How about um, an Italian bakery? Sure. The, the fresh scent of the bread and there's a loaf. A lo a really soft loaf. And cannolis. Mmm, delicious cannolis. Think of that cream. Ooh. Yes, oh. help yourself to anything in the bakery, Joan. There's a guy who works there named Giovanni who won't leave me alone. Oh. What about a, an emerald wilderness, Joni? You're doing great. Um, what, what about... I have an idea. What? What if I just put the very, very tip? Tell me if you think this is too sharp inside. Okay, get out of me. There is nothing to see here. No one is masturbating. <gasps> Joan! Joan, what I wanted to know was how your problem was, you know, uh, coming along. Oh, she's along. still struggling yes. with it. Excuse she's still me. struggling. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, yes. she's trying. We're making progress. I'm working on it. Thank you for asking. I'm working oh, on it. Oh, no problem. I just, I, I, you know, I mean, every woman should be able to express every facet of who yes. she is. And if you cannot get off... Okay, all right. There you go again. It's just that Glenn has a problem with the idea of female orgasm. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Do we have to talk about this? It's necessary to talk about these things. I want you to be a happy, sexual, blossoming, oh, juicy girl. God in heaven. Cool. Oh, juicy. Awesome. What a beautiful wish. Let me tell you about orgasms, okay? Ladies do not have orgasms. Oh, please. I'm sorry. It's like, like leprechauns and unicorns. Sure, they're fun to think about. Yeah, we all wish they were real. But the bottom line is they're not. The only people who climax are men. Get it? Dad. Okay? Men leave evidence. Women have no evidence. No, I have seen a movie where women squirt. Okay, that's special effects. Okay, that's hydroponics. Yes, it is. 
if they can make a lightsaber, they can make a vagina squirt. You know well, what? I hate to say it. I, I think he might be right. Oh, there you no. go. Oh, no, now you're making I sense. No. For oh, the don't years. you dare listen to him. Yeah. I'm telling you, I've never had one. Why would I? I'm dead down there. Oh, there that's go. just there not true. I'm going to be a lady that's in a constant state of click coma forever. And everybody will make fun of me and tell me, oh, poor, poor Joan, she here, she can't have one. And everyone will whisper about me and feel sorry for me and I'll die an old lady unable to do that. I just know it, I just feel it and I just know it. Nothing is working, nothing. Probably right. Joan. Forget it, I'm gonna stop trying, that's it. I'm done. Joan Beeman, mm -hmm. I am shocked and dismayed to hear you given up on what's in your panties. My husband had had an affair and I was devastated. And I wanted to just roll up in a ball under our living room rug and never come out. But I didn't. I couldn't because someone wouldn't let me. You. That's right. Because you keep pushing on. And when school seems too hard, you won't let me down because you're a fighter. That's right. You don't give up. But what's that have to do with it? Well, there's something magic in those pants. I want you to believe in it. I want you to believe in that. Okay, this? Yeah, I want you to believe in that. What's down there? What do you believe in? My fuzz box. You're a fighter, lady. And I need you to be a fighter down there. Okay. Come on. Okay, I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. So is that what I think it was? Oh, my God. <laughs> I saw Jesus on the 4th of July and an explosion of... Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> I wow. Know. I know. I gotta tell Barry. <sighs>